Can I get a breast cancer recurrence after a mastectomy? If you have had a mastectomy as part of your breast cancer treatment, does that mean that you can't get a recurrence? The answer to this question is unfortunately, you can still get a cancer recurrence even after a mastectomy. A mastectomy is an operation where we remove the whole of the breast, including the overlying skin. This is called a simple mastectomy. And there are reasons why you may have been recommended to have a mastectomy as part of your breast cancer treatment. And I have actually made a video about all of these reasons and I will leave the link below. Do check it out. For anybody who has been recommended to have a mastectomy, certainly in the UK at least, you will be offered the option to have a breast reconstruction. And this is where we make a new breast, either from using an implant or using your own body tissue. Now, you don't have to have a reconstruction if you don't want one, but the option is there should you wish to have a breast reconstruction. The breast reconstruction can either be done at the same time as the cancer operation, which we also call an immediate reconstruction. Or we can also do it in the delayed setting, which is after you've finished your cancer treatment. So why can a cancer recurrence occur when you have had the whole of your breast removed? A mastectomy removes most of the breast tissue. However, around five to 10% of breast tissue is unintentionally left behind. And that's because it's just impossible to remove 100% of breast tissue at the time of a mastectomy. And so breast cancer can still recur either on the skin flap overlying the chest wall if you are flat and didn't have a reconstruction, or if you had a reconstruction, then the recurrence can happen on the skin overlying your reconstructed breast. It can also recur along the scars. Now the risk of recurrence is lower than if you've had a lumpectomy, as of course you do not have a breast any longer. However, a recurrence can still happen. Now, breast cancer recurrence generally falls into three categories, local recurrence, local regional recurrence, or distant recurrence. If the cancer recurs along the chest wall or along the reconstructed breast, this is known as a local recurrence. If the cancer recurs in the glands in your armpits or your neck, it is known as local regional recurrence. Distant recurrence is where the cancer returns in other parts of your body, such as the liver, lungs, bones, or the brain. Any treatment you get after a mastectomy is given to reduce the risk of cancer recurrence. And so if you have radiotherapy, then that is to reduce the risk of local recurrence, as well as local regional recurrence. If you have chemotherapy, immunotherapy, or tablet treatment, then these are given to reduce the risk, not only of local regional recurrence, but also of distant recurrence. But won't I get a mammogram as a routine follow-up after a mastectomy? Unfortunately, because most of the breast tissue has been removed, we can't perform a mammogram. A mammogram won't provide any useful information because as you may remember, the breast tissue is compressed when we do a mammogram. So if you've had a simple mastectomy and your chest is flat, then we can't perform a mammogram as there will be no tissue to be placed in between the plates of the machine. If you have had a reconstruction, a mammogram won't be a very useful tool because of the little breast tissue that is left. And so what is the best way to look out for recurrence? The best tool is by doing a self-examination. It is important for you to examine for lumps, nodules, nodularity, or skin thickening. It is also important to continually examine underneath the armpit as well. Anything at all that feels unusual, you must get these checked out. So it's so important that even after a mastectomy or a mastectomy with reconstruction, to be breast aware and to be examining your chest wall or reconstructed breasts regularly.